We better go to you, Justin, first, because uh, what we've seen uh, in Melbourne on Monday, this placard, a so-called pro-Palestinian get-together, and a placard saying abolish Israel and calling Israelis uh, white dogs. I I mean, the fact that this hate is festering in our community is frightening, isn't it? You've hit the word right on the head there, which, which is hate. I mean, that's all it is. Are you, are you telling me, you know, could you possibly tell me that a person who would put a sign like that and, and hold an event like that is just trying to protect the innocent people and the children in Palestine? I think not. I think they're point, very much pointing their hatred in the other direction towards the Israeli people. I mean, look, I mean, this has been said many times. There is no point in suggesting that through the decades of the conflict between Israel and Palestine that one side is not to blame and one side has done all the evil. That's just not the way it works out. But the timing of this right now, this all comes, you know, let's not forget it, this all comes after one of the worst terrorist attacks that we have seen in recent times. It was just appalling. And then to stick up something like that at that time for that reason in this place is just... It's just reprehensible. Yeah, it it sure is. And and that's the nub of the problem here, Liz. People are treating this as if it's a flare-up of the Israel-Palestinian clashes, as if it was Israeli... uh, Sorry, uh, as if it was uh, uh, Palestinian soldiers taking on an Israeli outpost over some exchange or whatever. This this is a reaction to the most bloodthirsty, brutal and sickening terrorist attack that was out to kill and maim and rape uh, innocent... uh, Israeli citizens, it shouldn't be given the legitimacy legitimacy of forming part of this political struggle. None whatsoever. This is Israel versus a death cult. Period. So to take any other side Mm. is literally unthinkable. And what really gets me about all these marches that we're seeing through our major cities across the Western world is the amount of ignorance that has to go into any single one of them marching in these parades, chanting jihad, chanting from the river to the sea. They clearly have absolutely no idea. That sign you're talking about also referred to these white dogs as colonisers. Israel, the coloniser. Like, this hasn't been their homeland since before 2000 BC. Just complete ignorance. I wish I could sit every single person down and say, do you realise that 15 short years ago, the Palestinian were offered 99% of what they wanted, they turned it down, just like Yasser Arafat did at Oslo. They have never been interested in the two-state solution. It is always Israel that has come to the table and said, yep, sure, okay, not perfect, but let's make it work. It has always been the Palestinians who have repeatedly refused because they don't want peace. They don't want a two-state solution. They want a one-state Palestine from the river to the sea. A lot of the people might want a two-state solution, but the Islamist extremists uh, who are controlling Gaza at the moment, Hamas... Oh, no, no, no. They don't want any solution at all except the the annihilation of Israel and the Jewish people, which brings me to another local response here. And this is a a major council in Sydney, Canterbury-Bankstown Council, where there's a large Muslim population. And this is the difficulty with this conversation, of course, is there are so many. Obviously, the overwhelming majority of Muslim Australians are, are, are wonderful contributors to this country, but... You've got this fringe out there calling the gas the Jews and death to the Jews. So you get this hor- horrific social tension. Anyway, this council, they're, they're going to fly the Palestinian flag. And this goes to the point, Justin, that, you know, suddenly it inflames this political issue. Well, well if you're going uh, to raise the... allow a, a horrible act of terrorism to lead to discussion of this political solution, then surely at least you've got to fly both flags, the Palestinian flag and the Israeli flag, to mourn the victims on both sides and to show show that you support a two-state solution. Absolutely. And I think the biggest problem is that when these acts come along, they're not... Look, and yes, by all means, support the innocent people of Palestine and, you know, and, and you know, hope that they, they are not killed. I mean, it's as simple as that. But with that, you've also got to be condemning 
beyond yeah. belief condemning what Hamas has done. And I mean, and look, when you when you're doing that, it doesn't mean that the the world can't be telling Israel, hey, listen, make sure you're doing the right thing here. Make sure the aid gets through. Make sure innocent people are protected as much as they possibly can be. Of course, you've got to do that. But every time we have the conversation, and every time councils like that have their conversation and raise any flags, they need to also be condemning Hamas every time. And unfortunately, that's not what we're seeing.